in a backyard scared and pushed out of its natural habitat. This panting leopard represents the plight of wildlife in one of the world's most militarized zones. As humans fight over the disputed territory, the fences they have erected have divided the habitat for animals as well. The fence stretches for about 550 of the 700 km long line of control between India and Pakistan. Before the fence, wildlife would freely move between Indian-occupied Kashmir and Azad Kashmir. Now that natural migration route has been severed. The life cycle and biological requirements have been limited. Kashmir's dense forests are home and a source of food for many species of wild cats, bear, deer, goats, monkeys and birds. Only a few of these creatures can be spotted these days despite conservation efforts and wildlife preserves on both sides. This deer species is called the grey goral. It is one of the worst affected after the fencing between Pakistan and India. And that's why these ones are being bred in captivity. And after 15 years, just five grey gorals exist in this 12 hectare reserve. Because of the fence, many species in Kashmir are stranded on either side. Their numbers have dwindled and their gene pool has shrunk. Small population breeding means they go through genetic changes. Higher population and greater cross-breeding makes them strong. In addition, the cross-border fire which results in fires also has an impact on the wildlife. Mountain pheasants are also vulnerable. The ones being bred in captivity have to be regularly checked because in aviaries they don't develop the natural immunity which birds acquire in the wild. The speed of population growth is another threat. As forests shrink, wildlife is affected. People use trees for firewood and construction. Hunting and poaching also plays a role in dwindling numbers. Conservationists warn that without cross-border collaboration, many species are at risk. Such as this baby leopard, which got hurt trying to cross the electrified fence. Her last breaths are a reminder to humans. The fight for territory and control is destroying the very land they're fighting for. Osama bin Javed al-Zazira at the line of control, Pakistan-administered Kashmir.